Hey everybody, it's Jade. I just want to talk about the bodies and heads in Second Life. I do not have extensive experience with all of the bento heads in Second Life, but I can tell you what I think of them. My favorite head of all time, my favorite head maker of all time is Katwa, because I feel like those heads are more feminine. To me, my head looks much more feminine than other head makers. It's not a knock on them or anything like that. They all work very hard, but I just really like Katwa's HD Pro Queen and Mirror Soft Head. I do have another head from Katwa that I got. I didn't like it so much, so I haven't worn it. But the first head that came out with the HD Pro, I just really liked it. And I've worn it ever since, and then I got the Queen head and I've worn that. I did switch for a little while back to the HD Pro Mayor soft head, but I would all I would also like to say that I have tried Leilutka heads, Genesis heads, Genesis Lab, Akaruka heads. I've tried a lac head. Well, my first head was Katwa. I think that the head is really cute. It was the first head I ever bought. I th I thought it was very feminine. It was very pointy and feminine and cute, and I wanted something that was what I really like. It was really nice and I wore it from December 2018 until um, off and on but mostly on until September 2020 when the HD Pro Mayor Soft Head came out. This is what the Kagwa HD Pro Mayor soft head looks like and I think that it's cute it's not as feminine as stuffy I don't think that's just my opinion other people might have different opinions and that's fine but it's cute what the problem I have with a lot of the heads and uh, would be that there's a big problem with the eyebrow region it looks like you have a brow ridge. I try to fix it the best I can, but a lot of them have that area that makes, it has a sort of brow ridge look. The problem I have also with the jaw is that if you look at, uh, if you look at a woman's head, uh, if you look at a woman's jaw, it curves. It starts out and then it curves right away and it curves up. Where a man's jaw will go straight back and then curves a little bit up. So there's differences in the heads of females and males. And then we have the queen head. And this is what the queen head looks like. It's definitely different in some ways. It looks more fierce in that picture. But anyway, I have my own shape for it. And I think it looks kind of nice. So that's the one that I have the most experience with is cat. For some time I wanted a Genesis head. I really did. And I got the gift head. The animations worked fine on it. I heard other people say that the other heads had animation issues, but I was able to get the animations to work fine on it. I don't remember the name of that head, but I'll look it up here. I'm looking for the picture. Maybe they don't put a picture in here. Yep, I don't see one. I will try to find a picture of me in that head. Here's my Jenna's head. It's really cute. I just wanted to show you how it looks. The problem with the Jenna's head, I noticed, was the HUD. It seems like for me it was a bit difficult to, to use. Uh, just a bit, because I have trouble reading. More trouble than I did with the Katwa HUD. I can click on it and go down here. I can make the HUD bigger like this. See how big it is now? I'd like all HUDs to do that if possible, but anyway, that's the way it is. But I think that my Genesis head was really cute there. And that was on Saturday, April 11th, 2020. I have had a couple of Akaruka heads. I had the Cleo head and one or two other heads. I did get one recently within the last maybe six months that I didn't like. I thought it would be maybe okay, but I put it on. I even asked a friend. She didn't like it either. 
so I just, yeah, I'm sure it's still in my inventory somewhere, but I don't wear it anymore. Anyway, so, uh, but I, I like the Maitreya body the best because the hide's easiest to use and the body comes with everything attached. I don't have to go and look and say right foot ballerina, left foot flat. I can just put everything on two, two things to put on, the body and the HUD, and I'm done. And then if I want to attach the bomb add-on, I can do that so that I can make my clothes look realistic if they're bomb. So if I have on, a, let's say I have on bomb underwear and I, I'm just saying, like, for whatever reason, then I can make my body more, look more realistic with the bomb. Let's say that I'm wearing stockings. If I don't wear the bomb add-on, then my toenails will show right through. But if I put the bomb add-ons and click on toe caps, then my toes will look completely normal and it'll look like I have normal stockings on. I hope that helps because I really enjoy Second Life and I really enjoy trying different bodies and things like that. I do have the classic body from Legacy on one of my alts. Well, no, I'm sorry, I probably have it on a bunch of them. On others, too. But I just wanted to say that it's so nice that they, that we have people who are offering free heads, free bodies, and bodies of heads at cheaper prices during the year. Sometimes they bring down their price or something like that. So I just wanted to say thank you to all the people that make all these wonderful things. and. Uh, I hope that you guys will let me know what you think. And everybody has a different opinion about everything, and that's fine. You're entitled to your opinion. I thank you for watching. I just wanted to thank you for your support and your generosity. And I was just going to say, I was looking at the shape of the head that I had, and I was looking at this as a head that I had uh, on the last video, and my hat here that I have, I'm wearing Queen from Kaikwa right now, and it's so pretty. I don't know if it's the skin or the, both the head and the skin and the shape, but it's just so pretty. I did have a look at the Cupra body, but I was fairly disappointed with the different parts about it. I felt the waist was too thin. You kind of know what I mean, kind of like Betty Boop sort of style waist. I want to have a normal waist, not a, um, I don't want to have an unrealistic waist. It's, I'm not trying to say it to be mean to the people who made it, I'm just saying it because that's how I feel. I have the Maitreya body and I like my Maitreya body. I took off all my clothes and looked at my body and I thought it was really pretty. Of course there's always improvements that can be made, but there's just certain parts of my Maitreya body that I just like way better than Cupra. And of course, Legacy is a nice body, but I don't like the HUD. I like Maitreya. The HUD is easy to use. Both the front and back are available. You don't have to use a style HUD that might come up or might not come up. Everything's all together. It's just really nice. So anyway, I just wanted to talk to you about that stuff and just see what everybody's doing and all that sort of thing. So I guess that's all now. Bye everybody. Take care. Bye.